Well, good morning. Well, at least where I am from. And um, for you, you guys might be experiencing summer in t-shirts. I just to tell you, yeah, it is cold, it is cold, it is cold. And, um, but welcome, it is wonderful to see you again. And we are covering the Hebrew letter Zayin, which is a fairly exciting letter. And we've moved on from what I'd probably call the big five and the big six. And we were dealing with Vav last week. And this week it is Zayin. And probably not many are so familiar with Zayin. You know, we like the first six that play a huge role. But so does every other of the Hebrew letters. But Zayin... If you'll see here, I got a sword. And Zayin means weapon. Now, we, more often than not, we'll think of weapon as in fighting, war, killing. But in the case of Zayin, because it's positioned in rest, Zayin means it is already accomplished for us. So in other words, when we're going to war, we go to a war that's already <laughs> won for us. I mean, how awesome is that? <laughs> but most of all, Zayin speaks of kingship. It speaks of authority. And that is amazing. When you hold up that sword, the spirit realm takes notice of the sons of God that are rising to occupy their position as kings, priests, and prophets. It's pretty amazing. Now, we as sons of God need to learn to pray the Hebrew letters. So in other words, what I want you to do as an activation is that, of course, we pray through Jesus Christ. He's the body, blood, the cross, and the Hebrew letters find their expression in and through him because Christ is the Word. But a Hebrew letter is a gate and a key. So I want you to practice that when you pray, is to say, I position, I am Zayin at the gates. As I, as I occupy the gate, I engage Zayin as a king. I engage my sword that through Zayin, the authority and my position is trumpeted in the spirit realm. That it will be made known that every blueprint and authority that has been given to me to accomplish is already done through the body and the blood of Jesus. That with Zayin as my gate and my key, I engage the blueprints that are set out for me and as you saw in the blog, that the word endow starts with Zayin, which means we have a trust fund. Now we've touched on that with other Hebrew letters and that which is available for us as the storehouse. But just think it as it, of it in this way, that when you go about your daily task, in the spirit realm, you're stepping in with that authority of holding the sword of Zayin, which says, I have arrived by the authority of Christ. I have arrived into that which has already been accomplished for me. So when I step into the boardroom, or when I step into a meeting, or when I, when I go to work, or when I start to pray, I take up my sword, <laughs> my sword, my sword in Zayin, and I start praying and decreeing and declaring, because in Christ it is already done. The, the ground that we occupy has already been cultivated and I engage Zayin as I stand on this ground and I declare it fruitful. I engage my storehouses, my dowry, the endowment that has been set up for me to release from the spirit realm into my cultivated ground. I release that seed, I water that seed that it will grow into my blueprint that has been set out for me. So there's a little bit of an example for you to just use an example. Take words. That's, that's why I put the words in the blog. Use the words that Zayin starts with because there's a reason for it. It's not just gr grammar and spelling. It is when we understand that they are living letters is that that word 
occupies a position or the letter occupies a position in the word as a function and a key to release that word into the physical. Engage the other Hebrew letters. I mentioned early in the blog about the triad, the triangular of Zayin, Yud and Nun. And they each play a key role in spelling Zayin. And you need to go and ask the Lord, what, what's the purpose of the Yud within the name Zayin? What's the purpose of Nun within the name Zayin? So I know we haven't got to Yud and, and Nun yet, but I just want to, to plant the seed that as we go forward and with the letters that we've already covered, is to start engaging their spelling to go deeper and un unearth the gems and the mysteries that are hidden with it. So when you pray, we engage the, the angel um, of Zariel, of Zamriel, and um, we ask for the key and the scroll to Zayin. I unlock my spirit and my kingship, and I put that scroll of kingship and endowment in my spirit, and every word that is written within the scroll of Zayin, its purpose and blueprint to be released within me that it will find its full expression in and through me as I am positioned in Christ and Christ is in me. Which means, think of that scripture that says, we have been blessed with every spiritual blessing. Just think about that. That is the cultivated ground. God has set everything out through Zion so that we can operate from a position of rest. Man, that is just so awesome. You can meditate on that till kingdom come. I trust that the activation has blessed you and that it will help you. I love you big time. And I just want to, on a personal note, I just want to say thank you to those who trade and so into Throne Room Mystic. I put that money towards the academy that I'm busy setting up and structuring. And, um, and I appreciate you doing spiritual investment in Throne Room Mystic. I love you big time. And um, if you want to engage with us on our Throne Room engagement group, it happens on every Wednesday evening. And just email me info at throneroommystic.com if you'd like to join the groups if you don't already. And then I'll just add you to the group. We usually engage what was um, discussed in the blog. I love you big time. Have an awesome week.